Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Old school versus new school. Power and ISO versus pitch and catch and get the guys out in space. These two teams have fantastic philosophy. One team lost time of possession. The other team could care less about it. Who establishes the tempo is one go a long way for determining who wins. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. the ball sat he looks ready to keep this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Caught at the eighth. Brought down at the 27 yard line. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Walters, big play of building, makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. It. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. Slides down to the ground. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. The defense really messed the goal with opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From the 47-yard line, second down. Look at his scramble out. He can't get away from the pressure. And we've seen just why many call this kid one of the best defensive players in the country. This guy is just at another level. It just looks like he is stronger and faster than everybody else on the field. So the sack makes this third and very low. Makes the catch and the defense is all over and they bring him down from the loss. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now, if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. throws right away. Complete. It's the junior. They'll bring him down at the 47. A good look at pass that time. They do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the chest, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Wins it out there in 
incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 42-yard line, third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down. The 37-yard line. Usually a defense will look to time on the field based on the tendencies and research that they have done throughout the week to be able to see when a screen might be coming. But truly, you have to be able to get your eyes on the quarterback and just sense the timing's a little bit different. Wow, that offensive lineman let me get, get by a little bit too easily. And that should be something needs to tick you yeah, off the exactly end of the assist. offense to let you know that a screen's coming. Inside the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. Standing by with this update. Reece. The Nittany Lions were ranked 21st. They got the W, but it wasn't overly impressive. There was never any room to breathe in this game. And for Brock, he threw for more than 100 yards in today's game. Penn State wins it 24-17. Meanwhile, time for a great West Coast clash in the Pac-12. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. And for Keller, a solid performance. More than 150 yards receiving. Arizona comes away with the one-point win. All right, Reese, back to our game. Johnson looks like they're ready for the kick. Taken from the 10. They'll bring him down at the 26. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. They bring the quarterback down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Ready. Grabs it and he might go the distance. He's to the point. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Sacked for a loss. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 42 yard line, it's second down. Run it inside and tackle quickly. Maybe a yard of the run by the tailback. That makes it so Throws a 
Oh. And that one's falling incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Causey is back deep to return. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defense. But I think you can see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. They're set to go for another round. Gets to him at the 41 yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Here comes the pressure. It's a fumble. The offense falls on it. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Second down. Down he goes to the 38-yard line. I'm not 
not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. He's got all day. Deep ball, laying it out there. An excited first quarter comes to an end. Seven nothing. Ow. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. to the 14. Fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Tackle around the 24 yard line. Walker gets three yards on the play. Schmidt to punt. What a collision. Nice yardage on the run back. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Looking for his man. 
incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they push him out at the two. I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. He's got a touchdown. For Willis, he fought for three touchdowns on the day. The Cougars pull it off by two. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. The Owls know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players. We always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When the running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When the running back's struggling, you've got to look at that offensive line and say, Colin, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around. And it starts up front with the offensive line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws out and throws hands. This is a fourth and very well. Schmidt is back deep to return the punt. Schmidt makes it to 47, gets to about the 37 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. There was so little separation. This game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down right around the 34. Complete brought down. Nothing to it. Look 
Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. down and they need to get it to the 15. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range and they're going to try to come up with three points. back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Makes it to the 34. Taken down at the 47. Gave him seven yards. First down. It's second down. <laughs> Tries to get around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 50-yard line. Trying to kick it out of bounds. And down he goes. The 
the 21-yard line. Well, the way they play the first half, Kirk, is they go into the locker room half time. I think the coaches would be happy, but they'll want to keep the pedal to the metal, I'm sure. No doubt about that. In fact, I think a good opportunity for them to try to be able to score early in the second half. Maybe all of a sudden kill the will of that opponent. All of a sudden you get those backups a chance to go out there and get some viable playing time. Yeah. Yeah. Second down. They told us there's big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. Thought they might be able to do. Better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. From the 41-yard line, first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds. And about the 35. This is the eighth play of this drive. but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 21, 7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. When yeah. you get them in long yardage situations, what does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. 
you can fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on the whole defense. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready for the call. All right, Reese and David, thanks guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. From the eight yard line, he's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 36. Yeah, the defense coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. This offense is not only struggling in the pass protection department, they're struggling to get yards. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards a play, that's the definition of struggle. Well, sacks only tell one part of the story. The scoreboard tells the most important part. We're about set to start things up again. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 39 yard line. That's good for a game three yards. That'll make it 67. Five guys will be out the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle at the 45-yard line. That'll make it 31. Second and ten. Ball on the 45. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. Gore to punt. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game.
And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. And here's another third down. Offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Smith takes it at the 45. Tackle made at the 34. Not a bad return. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Running back makes a solid effort, but there was just no chance for him to make a play on that throw. That makes it second and ten. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. And the offense picks it up, and down he goes right around the 46-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He sails it long. And bring him down at about the five-yard line. Performances like this one he's having here today. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Crimson Tides were ranked 23rd. The victory was solid. We'll see how much it impresses the voters. There was a game where both teams dispensed with the pleasantries. And for White, he powered his way into the end zone for two touchdowns. The Crimson Tide grabs the 11-point win. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Fozzie fields it at the 11. He's out to the 30. Tries to get around the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. I tell you what, you got to give these guys credit. They put up a great defensive effort in the first half. They carry it over in the second half. Doesn't look like they're going to give in. Yeah, and this game isn't over yet. I, I think it's going to require them to continue to play with this kind of edge and attitude to be able to give themselves a chance to win the game because we still have a ball game in our hands and still a whole time to go. Brought down at about the 45. Gain 10 yards. First down. Ball is loose. Fumble. Scooped up by the defense. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look and try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Wins it out left to the halfback, and he's taken down. 
the 36 yard line. Play is number eight on the drive. Get you out, got the corner. Good outside run there. They just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Got it completely out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Big time effort sacked by the defensive end. This also gives some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. to his receiver. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Johnson's in the tackle at the 39-yard line. Third down. Gets it to his wide receiver. He's got another one. That's a deep seven to play. First down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. these guys and now you've got to get the ball back not the way you want to get back into this game not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza 35 7 Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Whoa, there, that one's going to hit the ground, incomplete. Griffin was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47. Stopped immediately. Oh. Gained seven yards with a catch there. Makes it out to about the 33. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Big opening. He makes his way out to about the 25. A gain of eight and a nice decision by the quarterback to give it up on the option. Anytime a running back gets one on one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. They'll line it up again on third down. Makes it out to about the seven. Yeah, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for them. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third down. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Touchdown. Converts the extra point. Gore has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Ozzy takes it to 12. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29 yard line. The Owls have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. 
So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball of the 29. Throws incomplete. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. The pot upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he can't hang on to the ball. Looking for the corner. He makes it to the 45-yard line. On their last drive, this offense really moved the ball well on the ground. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Picked up almost four on that half-back delay. it to the left. Clark out of the open. To the 10. He's in. Another touchdown. There's really not much need to be throwing the ball right now. Unless you're trying to embarrass these guys. And he taps on the extra point. So a short three play, 46 yard drive. And they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Field it at the nine. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Walter is a better player than this, and he just didn't show up today. He didn't show up. It's one of these games where, you know what, you almost want to not even look and review the game film. Just forget about it, move on, and move on to the next week. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting play. Got his receiver. Dropped it. Incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. The stop at the 29 yard line. Allen picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up third and four. Catches it, he's immediately tackled behind the line. Smith to punt. Oh, 
It's been a one-sided affair from the opening kick. There's no doubt why this game is a blowout. Take a look at these numbers, whether it's the stats, the points, the yards. Every single thing favors one team, and so far it's been a dominating performance. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the And right now, these wide receivers have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 48-yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. That'll bring up third and eight. Play call. 